When we talk about famous United States Supreme Court judges, at the top of almost every list is Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. He served on the court for almost 30 years. You cannot study and understand United States constitutional law without first understanding who Holmes is and the impact he had on the United States of America. Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. knew the sixth president of the United States of America, John Quincy Adams a man who lived just down the street from him, who he met when he was five years old. And he knew Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He met him as a Supreme Court judge while FDR was president. Because of Holmes' long life, 20 years of service in the Massachusetts Supreme Court, almost 30 years in the United States Supreme Court, Holmes had a tremendous impact upon the law of the United States of America. There are other famous judges, but when you look at judges who are never the Chief Justice of the United States, Holmes clearly has to be at the top of your list. Holmes served during the Civil War. After the Civil War, Holmes decided it was time to study law and get a career. There was an important decision that was made by his boss that really launched who Holmes became. You see, about that time, the grandson of Kent was looking for somebody to do the most recent edition of Kent's commentaries on the law. And Holmes's boss was determined to be that editor. Holmes's boss just gave it to him. It is because of that detailed understanding of the entire law that we really discover who Holmes became. You see, while well, other judges, when they got a case, would have to go research what the law was, Holmes was able to spit out opinions in a very short period of time. He already had a fundamental understanding of the law that was far superior to any of the other judges that he was working with at that time, both in the state of Massachusetts and then on the United States Supreme Court. Now, Holmes is not without his controversies. He has made decisions that caused many people to call him a villain. But then, at the same time, he has decisions that people praise him for to this day. In many ways, Holmes was a realist. Yes, he loved being pat on the back when he did things right, but when he was a judge, he tried to take his personal politics out of the decision. In this book, there is a great story of where Judge Learned Hand tells Holmes to go do justice. And Holmes he ends up lecturing him because, you see, in Holmes's mind, it wasn't the job of the judge to determine the outcome of the case that was before him. Instead, it was like an umpire calling balls and strikes to make sure that the rules of law were followed. And throughout his career, you will see where Holmes routinely made decisions that may have been unpopular, but if you understand Holmes's mindset, it wasn't the outcome that he was looking. He was making sure that the law was followed. Holmes is a very interesting individual. Over his lifespan, he read approximately 4,000 books, keeping a little black book, and in his black book would be the, the names of all the books that he read during his lifetime. Regardless of whether you are a lawyer 
or somebody who just loves the Constitution. There are many decisions that were reached during the years that Holmes was on the United States Supreme Court that have an impact on today's modern jurisprudence. And if you want to understand why the Supreme Court does many of the things that it does, reading this biography of Holmes is an important step to getting a broader view of how the United States Supreme Court works today. I find it very interesting that Holmes had a style of writing very short opinions. And that's short opinions in his time period. But Holmes, he loved to just get rid of all the clutter and instead focus solely on the issue, the most important issue. Why discuss all these ancillary issues when the whole case can be disposed of on one point? Now, he took great criticism for this position, and he got great praise because of this position. But that's who Holmes was. Let's get to the point. What is the key to this particular case that is before the Supreme Court today? Almost 30 years, Holmes served on the United States Supreme Court. And his impact on our courts can still be felt today. If you are a law student, if you are a lawyer, you should read this book. If you love United States history, you should read this book. If you want to understand United States constitutional law, Yes, there are great people that we need to read from the Founding Fathers. But during the early 19th century, there was a change that was made. And many of Holmes' dissents are today's majority opinions. And so if you want to understand where the United States Supreme Court is today, and where it was, Holmes is a key person that you got to study today. If you want to understand our past, and if you want to understand our future.